writing um, these lyrics and songs for I guess about two years I'd just been collecting work after my last project and I wanted to have an album I wanted it to be a concept album and I thought that there was no one better than Rissy to approach about creating a concept for the work that I had written. Tammy came to me to uh, see about a concept. She's like, I need something different for my second album. She'd been doing the house stuff and it you know, was really successful, but she wanted to do something that was a little, that, that went in a different direction. After I had told her what my songs were about, you know, and most of it was relationship songs. And um, she took the music, looked at the lyrics and thought about me and who I was, where I came from, and what I'm about. I've met Tammy's family, I know her kids, I've been to Ivor, so I know she's a Southern girl, she's a country girl at heart, and I, I sort of meditated on what would be a great concept for her. I've always been fascinated by Zora Neale Hurston, and I kept thinking about it, and at some point I thought of their eyes are watching God. I read the book in high school, I was about in 11th grade, then in college, I read it again, it was a part of our curriculum. Seven years later, I would revisit the book and some of the experiences I had as a wife and as a mother, um, I could appreciate and just be able to relate to it in a totally different way than I did when I read it the first time in high school and then in college. Reading it again um, really spoke to me. And I thought of Tammy and I thought, what if Janie could sing about some of her sorrows and some of her joys. What would it sound like? She brought back two, uh, two concepts, and I liked both of them, but the one that really stuck with me was Songs for Jamie. When we both look back on it, we laugh because it's clear that the impetus for that was really me just tapping into what she was going through. Once she presented the concept to me, I thought, perfect. Yeah just kind of ran with it and, and started tailoring my personal um, experience, my lyrics, kind of tailoring it to Janie's. Actually, I didn't have to do that much tailoring because some of the, uh, some of the situations I was writing about, Janie experienced in the book. Don't know the moment Took his eye off of thee just turned my head, but others could see. Started getting the feeling his dream wasn't me. Tucked my love and put it Everyone to sleep. Now we have this full-fledged project that I think is going to knock people's socks off because it really is, in the presentation, theatrical. It's, um, it's something that I think a lot of women have to address at some point in their life. Um, the, the ideal love versus the reality of love. How, does, how do they intersect? Where can you actually find that, that, that dream guy or that dream love affair? And I think at some point we all experience it. We just learned, as Jamie did, that it's very short-lived. The grand plan is to take this um, on the road as a musical production, as a almost a theater act. And I'm, I, I think Rissy mentioned that to me when she told me that this is going to be huge and what she th had envisioned for it. And I just totally agree. I'm really excited that Joe's Movement Emporium has decided to make Tammy the Artist in Residence, and we're going to produce the show as part of their first Artist in Residence program. Um, it's going to have those elements, those visual elements that the book, you know, brings to life. Like when you read the book, the imagery that Hurston presents is so palpable that you have no choice but to get lost in the in the, in the content. For me, the combination of having my band and having this theatrical act is just like, it's just perfect for me. Um, I think, I mean, number one, 
I love being on stage and I love the whole theater scene. And um, then just being able to sing my own music and to tell the story with the music, I think that's just like a dream for me.